Good to see you, John. Now, as we heard in the film there, lots of people with sons and daughters and partners who fought in Afghanistan and Iraq, you know, are obviously worried that, the similar, that a similar situation could break out in Syria. So can we reassure them that they are concentrating more on airstrike than on boots on the ground then? Absolutely. I think it's been badly reported. I think the whole thing has been blown up more than it ought to be. I mean, blown up is probably not a big... But, I mean, a lot of people have been affected, though, haven't they, John? I mean, this uh, is the that's thing. the trouble. I mean, uh, yeah. more than a thousand people killed in the worst and nastiest way I can... I know, and I've seen people dying of, mm. of chemical... in chemical warfare attacks. I've been in one myself. I mean, it's a horrible, horrible thing. But that is, does not mean that Britain or America or, or France are going to send in troops. That would be crazy, and they don't want to do it. Anyway, I suspect that the Brits won't, won't actually get in there anyway. I don't think it's going to be possible for Britain to be involved. And if They'd they just do, be the French and just be, and basically, of course, the Americans. And if they do, are we talking about a couple of hours of, of missile attacks? I would, I would have thought so. I mean, I think we've got to go back to the old days of Bill Clinton. Every time something went wrong, uh, Bill Clinton would launch the odd cruise missile at the, at, the, at the place. It's a way of punishing people. Of course, we've only got, we only used to have Bill Clinton's word for it, that they'd hit the targets they said they had. And no doubt in, in Syria there'll be um, mistakes or alleged mistakes at any rate. I mean, that's, mm. that's what happens on these things. Mm. But what they feel, what the Americans feel, what, what David Cameron feels very strongly, even though it may turn out that he can't get involved and Britain won't be involved, is that you can't just say, oh, okay, fine, you know, another chemical warfare attack, because it had just encouraged the, the, the regime in Syria to do it again, and other yeah. Tim Pot mm. characters. Well, John, you're one of the few to have interviewed President Assad. I mean, what was your impression of him? Because he it, it was an eye surgeon, wasn't he, in, in London? He I was, a, yes, a, a, an ophthalmologist, not an easy thing to say. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, he's, he was a very gentle, pleasant character. His wife was lovely I and mean, his wife's British. She was born uh, in North London and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, North West London, I think. And there she is. I mean, very charming couple, I thought. Shows how much I know, of course. Um, and, but the trouble is, he's, he's a member of a dynasty. I think he's the nice front man for a really nasty dynasty. He's got a nasty brother. So are you, say, are you, are you saying then that you don't think that he's, he's responsible for this? No, I think he's responsible because he's the head man. He could always say, look, I don't, I don't want to be here. I don't think you're doing the right thing. And he doesn't do that. So that makes him responsible. But I don't think he's the one that, that sort of uh, works it all out. I think it's, it's the other, other members of the family right. that are, are much tougher. And they say to him, look, go on, you're the, you're the boss. This is what you're going to say. I asked him, actually, when, we, when I interviewed him, did he really call the shots? And um, it was a bit embarrassing. Uh, I mean, he said, I thought he said, he said, yes, I do, but I thought he said it in the kind of way that people do when they are weak yes. and they're not calling the shots at all. And will you go back to Syria? Because, of course, you've been out there many times reporting. I have, and I, I would go like a shot if I get a visa. I had a slight problem uh, a year or so ago um, in that I tried to get in um, uh, slightly illegally, and I was caught, <laughs> and I was stuck in... <laughs> what slightly illegally? Well, I mean, that, that, that's very completely intriguing, isn't illegally, it? Illegally, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, it was. I said I was a retired uh, university professor, oh. and uh, I, met, I met a man... Wouldn't you know it? I was going through the, through the passport control at the airport, the, uh, the guy was just about to stamp my passport when a very smooth character in a suit came up and he just grabbed this man's hand as he was putting it down and he said, in perfect English, I don't think so. So I said, what do you mean I'm a retired? And he said, well, if you're a retired academic, how come I saw you on the BBC two oh, nights ago? So I, yeah, I, I laughed, actually, because what can you do? And they yeah. banged me up in a horrible place that stank of cat pee and uh, but only for 24 hours and they were they were actually not as bad as they might well have been great story yeah. yeah thank you very much john do you want a word on this as pm i just PM? I, I just love john simpson and when he's <laughs> when he's around everything feels like it's going to be all right there you go it's not what my wife says <laughs>